If like me, you use LastPass, then this week you will have received an email informing you that they will be changing their pricing model. Basically, they will be limiting their free tier to only be accessible on either desktop or mobile, but not both, rendering their free tier completely impractical for most people. So if you want to continue using LastPass across all your devices, as of the 16th of March, you'll need to pay. At $3 a month, it's not expensive, but it does beg the question, is there a free alternative that does as good a job? And the answer is a resounding yes, there are several. You can try NordPass from the makers of NordVPN, who have expanded their product range to offer a free password management tool. There is also KeyPass, which comes highly recommended by IT professionals, but does require a techie level of understanding in order to start using it. And then of course, there's your good old fashioned internet browser, such as Chrome, Safari and Firefox. So why wouldn't you just use your browser for managing passwords? Well, the simple reason is focus. Companies dedicated to password management spend all their time and, and resources focused on keeping your passwords secure. Companies who provide internet browsers spend some of their time and resources focused on keeping your passwords secure. <laughs> That's why I would always opt for using a dedicated password manager. And the one I recommend and have made the switch to is called Bitwarden. If you are coming from LastPass, then you'll instantly feel at home using Bitwarden because it works in exactly the same way and uses much of the same terminology, such as calling the place where it stores your passwords as the vault. It's just as intuitive to use, easy to set up and comes highly recommended from publications such as PC Magazine, TechRadar and Wired. In fact, I was made aware of Bitwarden by the positive comments from readers of The Verge. From a lay person's point of view like mine, the security technology employed by Bitwarden seems very reasonable. They regularly have their product audited by a third party security vendor. Their code used to run the program is open source, so it's freely available to inspect and check for flaws. And they offer all that good stuff like the latest and greatest levels of encryption and two factor authentication. From a usability point of view, Bitwarden is available across all your devices, Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android, and as an extension for all the main browsers. Beyond passwords, it will store your bank details and identity information for when you're shopping online, and you can add secure notes. There is no limit to the number of records you can have stored in your vault. All of this you get for absolutely free, but if you wanted to add one gig of encrypted file storage and things like password health reports, those additional features are available for $10 a year. Overall, I am very satisfied with Bitwarden, but what really sealed the deal was the ease in which I could import all my passwords from LastPass. If you are a LastPass convert, then switching over to Bitwarden is an absolute breeze. Simply export your list of passwords by going into LastPass's advanced settings and choosing export to CSV. Having entered your master password, your CSV file will download to your downloads folder. Go to bitwarden.com and click on get started to create your free account. Fill in all the details, hit submit, and then log in once more to open up your Bitwarden vault. Once logged in, click on Tools from the top menu and choose Import Data. Choose LastPass CSV from the list of available import formats, navigate to the CSV file in your Downloads folder and click Import. All the contents of your LastPass vault will now be uploaded and safely stored in your new Bitwarden account. If you haven't already, you can add Bitwarden as an extension to your browser and start using it instead of LastPass. I'd recommend holding on to your LastPass account for a little while until you're completely satisfied everything is working correctly. And that is my choice for a free alternative to LastPass. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.